Well, so hey guys and welcome to the spotlight. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to calculate delta V. Well, if you haven't watched the previous videos, I recommend watching them now because it will help you understanding this video better. Well, this channel is everything related to space. So if it's your kind of thing, be sure to subscribe. Now without further ado, let's get into it. Well, delta V is a parameter of the rocket which tells us how much velocity can it change that is increase or decrease at any point of time. Well, so obviously it keeps on changing all the time. Well, uh, it is directly proportional to the fuel left in the rocket or more technically, it is directly proportional to the burn time of the rocket. That is for how long can a rocket burn its engines? Well, so now let's get to calculating it. So basically, we can use the third law of motion put on steroids and calculate the delta V. We know mass of rocket times the velocity of rocket is equal to mass of propellant times the velocity of propellant or better known as exhaust velocity denoted by C. Let's calculate the exhaust velocity by multiplying the ISP by G. If you don't know why, check out my previous video. Then we can calculate the propellant mass by subtracting initial rocket mass from the mass of rocket after it has burned through all of its fuel. And now comes the hard part. What is the mass of rocket since it keeps on changing, right? There's two things. We can take an average mass of the initial and final mass and get a rough delta V. But a rough parameter in rocket science can mean that you can end up nuking some country instead of landing on the moon. So that's a big no-no. If we had some way to get the mass of rocket at each and every moment, and then calculate the velocity at each second and then add it up to get the delta v well thankfully that's what calculus for was invented for if you know how something is going to change over time or any other physical quantity you can calculate about it but let's keep calculus out of it since it will make understanding these things difficult since the burn time is only nine seconds let's do it ourselves actually don't worry I'll fast forward, forward the boring parts and do all the boring parts myself. Well, we know the acceleration is the change in velocity over one second. We can use acceleration as our parameter. We can calculate the mass flow rate by dividing the mass of propellant used by burn time. And then keep on subtracting the mass dumped out. So we know that the mass flow rate is equal to 116.6666666667 kgs per second and the initial mass was equal to 2340 kgs roughly so then subtract 9 times and then divide the force of engines by mass of rocket at the particular second to get the acceleration and that's our velocity for that first second let's calculate all the velocities and then add it up voila we got the delta v well, there is a minor error because of some of the approximations we took and since we calculated velocity at each second only. Well, whereas KSP does it like for 30 times each second. And with calculus, we can do it for infinite points. Well, that's all for this video guys. If you liked the video and gained at least something from it, subscribe and check out my Patreon page if you want to give out some support to me.